What's up everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti and I'm checking in from the road. Uh, if you notice the background, I'm doing a second video from the same hotel room. I'm still hanging out here in the capital wasteland of DC. I figure since I have the time, why not give a beer day with TK some extra work to do with video editing. So today I have, or this evening I have a beer called Sorry Chicky. It's a dry hop sour ale. It was brewed and canned at Burley Oak Brewing Company in Berlin, Maryland. I have no idea where Berlin, Maryland is, and I didn't think to look it up on the map, but I'm sure it's not far from here. Uh, on the side of the can, it says, at Burley Oak, we love our sour beers. We also love all the aromas you get from our IPAs. But dry hopping this lacto-happy beer, we've created an extreme sensory experience. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, TK and I did a beer a while ago, I believe it was uh, video 547, uh, on a beer called My Gay Sibling from Sailfish Brewing in uh, Fort Pierce, Florida. Now, that beer was considered or called a sour IPA. I think it might have been one of the first, if not the first, sour IPAs that either one of us had had. And we didn't know what to quite make of it. I mean, if you go back and look at that video, it was kind of a strange tasting beer, um, something that we weren't really sure how to, how to characterize. Now, that beer had some adjuncts in it, including quinoa, and maybe those added ingredients gave it a, a, a different flavor than what this will have. But this is called a dry hop sour ale, so I would, I would associate a dry hop sour ale with a sour IPA, at least in my mind anyways. To me it means you have a sour beer, it's got a lot of hops in it. I don't know if that's correct, but that's how I associate it in my head. So it would be interesting to see if this has similar flavors and a similar, similar profile to that uh, My Gave Sibling we did. I believe that was over the summer, this past summer. So um, if you're interested, go back and check out that beer and, and see how it compares to this one. Anyways, like I said, I'm still in this hotel room here in Washington, D.C., so I'm still using this awesome uh, clear plastic cup from Valley Brook Tea. Uh, they did make an excellent iced green tea, so if you're into that kind of thing, I would go check the, that place out. Enough about the green tea and the stupid plastic cup. Let's check this beer out. Uh, on tap, it gets a 3.81. On uh, the Beer Advocate, it gets an 89, very good, with a 3.97 average, but there was about 181 ratings on it. It's 4.4% alcohol and a total of four IBUs, which is kind of shocking to me considering they said it's a dry hopped beer. I would have thought dry hopping it would have added a lot of bittering to it and a lot of IBUs, but apparently it does not. I'm going to attempt to pour this beer a little better than the last one I did. I'm having a little bit of luck, but not much. There's still like half a hand of foam in there. I can already smell some weird, almost sour fruitiness to it. There's the can. Hopefully I remember to send TK a good picture of it so he can pop it up there in the corner. It smells sour, but not in like a sour beer sort of way, almost like a like if an IPA went bad smell. I mean, it's not it's not offensive, but if you were opening up a uh, an IPA and you were hit with that smell, you would think it had gone bad and would throw it out. Knowing this is a dry hopped sour, I suppose that's probably an acceptable smell for it. And again, it's not offensive. It is a little off-putting, but not offensive. That head has dissipated quickly. I mean, I had like four fingers of it to begin with. And it's quickly, quickly disappearing, but it is some pillowiness to it in the top. As far as color, 
maybe one of these days I'll print out an SRM chart so I can be a professional brew tuber like a beer day with TK. But until then, it's just kind of an opaque beer color. I mean, it's not it's not a Bud Light, but it's definitely not a Guinness. Just your average beer color. So, let's see if this tastes anything like that My Gay Sibling. Yeah, that's odd. That is definitely odd. I mean, you get some... You, get, you do get some sour to it. Almost, almost like when you drink fruit juice, it's gone a little bad. I mean, if you've ever had some, some fruit juice and you pulled it out of the fridge and took a mouthful of it and went, you know, I probably shouldn't drink that, but I think it's still acceptable to drink. That's about the level of sour this has right now. Kind of that weird flavor. And you get some hops, not much, like a hint of hops. But it's very dry. Like, overall, this is a very, very dry beer. Like, it's leaving my mouth super dry. This is definitely an interesting beer. It's not for the faint of heart. But it's not, like, overpowering in any particular flavor. Um, if you're adventurous... I would definitely check this out. Again, I'm not super familiar with this style yet. It seems like this is a newer style that's been coming out in the beer world. I'll give it a thumbs up. I would definitely drink this again. I'm interested in, in trying some more beers along this style to try to better understand this style. But It's definitely drinkable. I mean, I'll, I, I will absolutely have another one of these. If you guys ever had a dry sour, dry sour, Jesus, a dry hot sour or a sour IPA, I assume those are the same things, let us know in the comments. Until next time, cheers.